thought I would do an update today, uh, especially on my cleanse and how I'm doing with that and what it really entails. Um, uh, some examples maybe of some of the meals that I have. I might even do a separate post that's on like example meals that are vegan. I'm trying to do the list. Let's see. Um, no alcohol, no sugar, completely vegan, which means no animal products, no meat, um, gluten-free, soy-free. <laughs> are, you, are you dizzy yet? Are you wondering yet? What does she eat? What does she eat? Um, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty limited and that's why it's definitely not going to be my diet for life. I do plan on taking this diet though and incorporating it into my life so that when I feel like I need to like clean my system or I just feel like I need to eat a little healthier, I can eat these meals and choose these meals, um, alternate to other things that I might eat and just kind of, you know, go back and forth. Like I might still have a burger, but I won't have as many burgers or I won't have to have meat with every meal or I won't have to have dairy with every meal or so much dairy. Um, but I miss my meat, I miss my cheese, I miss my chocolate, I miss my coffee, caffeine, that's what I forgot. No caffeine. It's hard. It's been hard. Um, uh, some examples of what I've been eating are gluten-free steel-cut oatmeal with berries and a little bit of raw honey. It's got to be raw organic honey. Everything has to be organic too. Um, uh, and raw things are good. They like you to eat raw things on this. So I'll usually wake up and I'll have a bowl and it's it's portion controlled too. So I wake up, I have a bowl of organic steel cut gluten free oatmeal with some usually with uh, raspberries and blueberries, maybe strawberries and blueberries that are fresh but I also have frozen that I can use in a pinch and um, I might even put some sliced almonds on there and then I'll just put some raw honey in there mix that in and it's pretty tasty and I'll have that with uh, I have the two detox pills for the SoCal cleanse that I use that I take and those have like a bunch of herbs and you know toxin releasing things in them but I don't I obviously won't take those forever just for the month while I'm doing the cleanse and um, then that's my breakfast. Oh, I, before that, I have a, I'm sorry, I have a glass of hot lemon water, and that's really key. And that's something that I'd really like to continue to keep up. I forgot to buy a lemon, that reminds me. Um, because I think it's really good for the liver, and it's just a really good way to start the day. It's good for your metabolism. So I'm hoping to keep that up. Um, after I have my uh, my lemon water, I have my breakfast, and then I don't eat again for at least three hours, usually three and a half, four hours, and then I have my lunch, and my lunch is again a meal that I, well, some of the examples of a meal that I might have are, I might have guacamole, which I just used uh, smashed up avocados, pico de gallo I'll mix in there, maybe some cilantro garlic, um, you can put a little lime juice in there, really delicious. And then I'll mix that with some quinoa, some black beans, and um, you can throw in just anything plant-based like that, like quinoa, black beans, you can throw in some hummus. Another uh, lunch that I've been having alternate to that is um, uh, lentil soup, curried lentil soup, which I like, a little bit curried, it's, it's nice. Um, they have this thing called the Whole Bowl here in Portland, and they have a food truck, and I was... I had to grab lunch and I didn't know what I was going to get, but I knew since I was in Portland that it would probably be fairly easy to find something to eat. But I, it was really affordable. It was like only like four bucks for this big bowl and they give you brown rice, a red kidney beans and black beans, um, uh, black olives, cilantro. I'm trying to remember what else is in there cilantro and the tally sauce, which is kind of like a curried mixed their special sauce that's really, really good. And a little bit of salsa they put in there. Oh, and avocado, which is key. Avocados are key. And um, that is delicious and really healthy. When they typically make it, they also add cheese and sour cream, but I don't have any dairy, so I don't get those things. No dairy, no no animal products. Um, but it's really good with that too. And I've been really, I really enjoyed that. And I can, I can make something like that at home. And, those have kind of been my lunches 
a lot of that kind of stuff. I once had a, I had a millet burger, which I didn't love, but it was something to have to try. Um, and um, I'll have uh, two more of the capsules then with that. And then in a couple hours from that, I get a snack. And I've been having, sometimes I'll have a chia pudding, which really isn't pudding at all, but it'll just be like chia seeds mixed with hemp milk or coconut milk, maybe some coconut shavings and some dates, like some, some ground up dates. No sugar, but the dates are allowed. Dates and stevia or stevia, I don't even know how to say that. I don't really like it, so I don't use stevia, but stevia is allowed and um, uh, honey, raw honey is allowed as sweeteners. And uh, that's really good. Another, uh, I'm trying to think if there are any other examples of some of the snacks. Oh, I can have carrot sticks with hummus, which I like a lot, and I'll have that as a snack. It's a perfect little snack. Um, or grape leaves would be good. I haven't had them, but I saw them today. I don't love grape leaves, but they're really, really good as long as they're vegetarian grape leaves which is basically just the grape leaves with like the sauce and the um, brown rice. They're pretty good and it's, it's, you just have to make sure it's gluten free. But And then for dinner, I end up having a shake and that's what I have to have the whole time. And that's what I'm looking forward to giving up because I can't wait to have just meals again. But this is only for a month and then eventually I'll probably start mm. having a smoothie every day and then eating whole meals, but hopefully eating better like this. Um, I, and that's just, I use their... Uh, hemp protein based powder that has all these like spices and ingredients in it. Um, it's like a sweeter thing and I mix that with berries and a banana and I can put uh, hemp milk or coconut milk or almond milk in there and some if I want to I can do like a splash of pineapple juice or something like that to make it more interesting. Um, and that's also good. I mean I like the shake. It's just that I want, I miss dinner, I want dinner, I like a real dinner, but I'm on day 10, so I'm a third of the way through, and I'm, you know, I feel good about it, I feel very good about cleansing my body of all kinds of things, I haven't really had any cheats, I've had, there have been a couple things where I'm not sure that they're entirely, like I'll eat something and I won't realize if it's entirely gluten-free, or if it's entirely, like I think initially the steel coat oats were not the gluten-free, and then I got the gluten-free, and you know, there have been a few things that have been like, um, I have, I've have to learn those or, you know, and occasionally there've been a couple nights when I got so hungry that I had to have like an extra little snack. So I had like a couple carrot sticks or whatever, but in general, I haven't cheated on the diet and it's been really, really good. And I lost two pounds already, which is really great for the first week. If I'm able to lose two pounds a week, that means that, you know, that'd be awesome. I mean... I would lose eight pounds and eight pounds for me is a big deal. So, um, there's a little tour in the background, pu pushing his stroller. He's doing well. He and his dad are still eating a normal diet, right? You're still eating your normal diet, huh? That's right. That's right. Um, but yeah, that's basically an example of what my diet's been like lately and it's been going well. I've also been incorporating movement and meditation. I need to do more meditation. I've been kind of, well, it's a full body cleanse. So I've been waking up and trying to meditate at some point um, during the day. And I don't always succeed at getting that done or at least not like a formal meditation. So I need to do that more, but I try to do at least five minutes, if not more um, of meditation. And I've been using a body brush um, to brush my skin. It's a dry brush and you take it and you brush in circular motion up from your feet to your to your heart and then you brush from your arms to your heart and just brush everywhere to your heart. And then you take a shower. Supposedly all the toxins come out of your skin, blah, blah, blah. And I've been taking some, some baths too. I've taken a couple of, of mineral baths and, and um, just like relaxation is a big thing and affirmations are a big thing, which I've been kind of, you know, I'm... I have to admit that I feel like they're cheesy and I feel cheesy about doing affirmations, but they, I do think they help and I'm trying to force myself to get past my inner snob and actually do the affirmations and, you know, when you do an affirmation, you speak it like it's true. So you'd say, I'm making healthy choices and I'm, you know, good enough and I'm smart enough and doggone it, people like me. 
that kind of thing. I mean, again, I have to make fun of it because it's just so silly to me, but, but it's a good thing. I've been incorporating movement. I've been doing a lot of dance parties with tour where I'll just put on music, my favorite music and make sure to dance and not stop and keep my heart rate going for at least 30 minutes. And it's really great because I can put on my favorite songs and I like to dance them and tour is with me. So we're having fun dancing together. I, um, also have done a bit of a workout video that I have that has some like strength moves because I want to make sure that I get some strength training done and I need to do more of that. I need to get more strength training type exercise in and, um, and I want to get some more yoga in. I haven't done yoga yet and I, I want to get the yoga in. I actually have a really good yoga for fertility DVD that I bought before we had Tor because I thought it might be, we might have some trouble and we didn't. He was a quick, easy situation. Um, but as we're, we're trying again, so I really, really want to do that just because I feel like it's good for my body and circulation. I've had some really, really, um, I don't know, some, some changes in my cycles. So I feel like anything that circulates my blood in a good way and this cleanse, it's a good way to kind of like, you know, get reset everything and get some weight off, which I really want to do. And I feel like my body is, you know, it's definitely gotten like, I'm trying to see if I can, I've definitely gotten already a little bit fitter. This is like kind of a funny angle and I'm wearing like really baggy pants, but, um, but I've definitely like, I had a much bigger belly before. And, um, I, even though I only lost two pounds, I feel already like my body's, you know, like it's starting to shape, find its normal shape again. And, um, I gained some weight over the past few months of so just stress and other thing, other factors. And, um, it's, I lost a bunch of the baby weight and then I gained some of it back. If I can call it baby weight, I don't know. I, I could really call it that, but I guess that's, that was the initial problem. So I'll stick with that. Anyway, I'm doing good and I hope you are too. And that's what's going on with me. And I'll do a tour centered update soon too. Okay. Oops, it's about to fall.